as I continue my stroll around the internet, uh, particularly YouTube here, I came across a page uh, that says "Just the Facts, Ma'am," and it's I'm going to use the Exodus as placeholder, so I'm going to call it the Peach Channel. Uh, her topic that she was sort of discussing in, in sort of uh, extrapolating on uh, was the term political correctness and how she believes, as she puts it, a empty non-argument that warrants nothing but an eye roll in a face palm. Well, and she accuses people who use this to be ignorant and um, moronic. Well, the problem here is is that she just defeated her argument if all she's going to do is do the eye roll and face palm. Well, that's the definition of ignorance. Ignorance is not a lack of knowledge. It's the knowledge that you refuse to see. It's the things you turn away from. That's ignorance. So an ignorant person isn't stupid. They're not a moron. They are a person who who will not see, will not hear, and will not understand. They refuse to do this. So you show them something, they say, no, I don't see it, I don't hear it, and they walk away from it. Right? They hold their hand up, right? Face, uh, right? Palm to the, you know, like, talk to the hand. Right? You've seen that, you've seen that gesture, right? Everyone who's seen that gesture, as soon as you hear, talk to the hand, see, you see, talk to the hand, or you see and hear, talk to the hand, that's ignorance for, for you. If you see the eye roll in the, in the uh, and the dismissal that comes afterward, that's ignorance. If you go back and look at the term political correctness, it is not a modern term. It actually comes from George Orwell's 1984 and refers to the uh, political think, the correct think, correct speak, and the likes like, and, and the other types of speech that were authorized to be used by the government authorities. Well, in the United States, this is not currently an issue, although you may argue this when um, you had two Brits who were arrested for what they tweeted, even though the tweets were a quote from uh, Family Guy and American Dad. then you really can't say that political correctness does not affect us or doesn't exist or is an invalid argument. Political correctness is any attempt by a government to enforce a language, a language style, or a system of belief on its people. This occurs in Canada with the CRTC where it prevents uh, Canadians from choosing in the channels they want to watch in, in, in forcing them into Canadian culture right only Canadian channels can be presented only Can only Canadian stuff can be seen and what they'll do is that that in every if, in every instance they will block out blur and adjust shows that come to the United States come from the United States they do this, they say this is, this is done by simulcasting, right? The, uh, you watch, a, 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 all your shows are watched on, on, on major providers that, that are approved by the government, these, provi these uh, service providers for TV, and I understand this is the same thing in Mexico, and this is the same thing in Greece, uh, same thing in, in the EU, uh, that the channels that you watch are brought to you by a, 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 a governmental approved uh, service provider. And so that the shows that you watch can be appropriately, adju appropriately adjusted uh, for the, what they call the proper or correct, view correct views. And this means you can't, you, they want to eliminate any hate speech, right? You, what they call hate speech. This term hate speech again comes from uh, George Orwell's 1984 and the whole concept of Big Brother, that's again from George Orwell's 1984, 
they're all connected. Uh, you have it's all right if you can call turn if, if no problem calling someone a homophobe if, if you don't like the way someone believes about hom uh, about homosexuality and you think that they, they're wrong for uh, uh, for not uh, approving of homosexuality or thinking that it's normal fine that's your view and you're more than entitled to it but you shouldn't penalize or arrest somebody who believes otherwise and unfortunately in other countries that are, that are not the United States this occurs if you say something that is against popular opinion or is viewed as hate speech you can be arrested and people have been arrested in Canada in EU in France for hate speech this is, pol this is the reality of political correctness and so when you hear people like uh, Glenn Beck uh, talking about, oh, when they when we when political correctness comes in, people are going to be arrested for it. He's right. Look at what happens with the DCA. Look at what happens with SOPA. Look at what happens with Protect IP. These are all issues of political correctness. These are all issues of the government coming in and saying. To your, into your house and saying what you can and cannot say, what you can and cannot see. And this is fundamentally a violation of free speech. The, the terms in free speech in the First Amendment is very clear that you cannot, Congress cannot create any law that abridges the, the, the right to free speech or the freedom of the press. Very clear in there. That, that there's no way to sort of Wiggle your way out of this. It's not an ambiguous statement. So to say that political correctness is an empty and vague argument, and then to simply put up your hand and say, oh, I'm not going to listen any further, then you're being as ignorant as the person who uses political correctness to, to sort of block out and not hear what the other person has to say. Ignorance and hatred exists from all sides. If you've got a theory and people who believe in that theory strongly, or philosophy, whatever it is, these people are going to take positions that are strong against other people. And while we cannot and should not penalize a person for what they say, we can only act if they do something violent. That's the only time we do something, and, and that is only in the action of self-defense. If someone is coming after you and is going to try to kill you, you have a right to defend yourself. If somebody in this, the extension of the the self-defense concept in American democracy extends to the point if you see someone else trying to kill somebody else, and that person cannot defend themselves adequately you have the right to step in and defend the person who is unprotected. Right? You have a right to protect the victim from violence. And this is, this is whether you agree with the victim's point of view or not. It has nothing to do with how, what you think of the person's point of view. So this is what needs to be sort of considered that rather than simply dismissing someone's argument, Try to understand why that person has the argument that they do. Try to understand where they're coming from. How do they arrive at this particular point of view? Do you, and then, do you have a way to sort of take that edge off? You know, maybe show this person some, not forcefully, not threaten the person, but say, have you ever considered, and then bring out your points. If you argue in a non-confrontational way, in, in a manner that is not threatening to another person, at some point in time, the other person will sit down, even if they initially say, no, I don't want to listen to it, they will come back and say, let me see what this person is, even if it's argue back. And if you've got good, valid, valid points in there, then the person at some point in time will eventually pick these points up and if they are an open and free-thinking person, and most people have this to a certain degree, 
where they aren't able to change their own opinions and beliefs, then you will have a positive effect on the person. But if you turn around and behave and put out arguments in, a, in an arrogant, in a very uh, sarcastic or a condescending form, then the person will reject things simply because the way it's presented, not because of necessarily the ideas that you're presenting. So, I'd like to leave you with this particular thought. A free thinker is not, as most people think, the ability to criticize and destroy somebody else's beliefs and thoughts. A free thinker is the person who has the ability to self-criticize, self-analyze, and not be offended when somebody says, you're wrong. And the, when someone says you're wrong, so go back and think about it. Think, am I wrong? If I was wrong, change it. Maybe you weren't wrong. Maybe it was how you approached the problem. Maybe it was what, the way you said something. Maybe someone simply misunderstood your, your intonation or misunderstood the way you speak. That happens. It's not necessarily that the person will necessarily disagree with you. It may be that the person is disagreeing with, with the way you said what you said. So this is this is my this is what I would suggest to you. Don't be dismissive out of hand. Think about what you say. And of course you can you do have the right to put on whatever you want to put on. If you want to put out a rant, put out a rant, and that's no problem. Do that. It's your is your right to do so. But you should be aware that how you put out what you put out will determine its effectiveness. So anyways, um, that's what I had to say. Uh, I wish you luck. I, I was sorry that your channel got deleted. Uh, but that's happened to a lot of people. Uh, if you say the wrong things on, 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 on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, and not only can your account be uh, deleted, but apparently now, uh, even though SOPA and, and Protect IP has passed, uh, apparently uh, with the NDA now, if you say the wrong thing in the United States on YouTube and uh, my, uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter, uh, you can look forward to being arrested. All right. Have fun.